Hey, sisters, come on in to the Hollywood Hood Girl movie. Come on in, y'all. Let's get ready for this new movie. Yes, yes, and yes. Come on, y'all. I'm coming on in as well. Y'all ready? Okay. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? Me, that hood girl to the hood, y'all. Let's remove this hot sauce out of the way. Y'all, today the production is supper time. They're new here. And the director is Lowball. Y'all know I've been talking about Lowball coming to visit us. Well, Lowball is now here. And y'all, this is the beginning of November. Get ready for turkey and Cornish hens and all that other goodness. Yes. And so this is scene one. Take three. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. How y'all doing on this Monday day? This is the quiet before the storm, and I'll tell you uh, what I mean by that in a moment. But let's say prayers and toast, and we'll start eating, uh, and then we'll start talking at the table. So you ready? Let's do this. Father God, thank you for this another day. Thank you for divine mercy, grace. Oh, and forgiveness, Lord. Mm, thank you for sovereignty. Yes. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, this is uh, the quiet before the storm. And then um, it's a new week. So, new weeks, new beginnings, new blessings. So, yeah, get yours. Get, get it. Get, get yours. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Mm -hmm. Y'all know this bowl is really hot. I got an extra towel right here. Y'all know I have been talking about this little bowl for a long time, right? And I added some rice because the, the juice is just so good. But y'all... Well, without ado, let's do this. Because y'all know what what do I like on my low ball? Slap your mama. Just a little bit, y'all. Not a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it and I love it. I love it. And y'all y'all, already know I like uh, hot sauce as well. But we'll wait. But this bowl is extremely, extremely hot. But I want to share this with you guys, though. And you know, I love to share. So here you go. Yum, yum, give me some, give me some of that goodness, Hey, Yes, y'all, I was craving for this low ball because um, it's been a long time since I made it. And y'all know the low ball is just the turkey necks, the corn, the potatoes. And I didn't put the red potatoes, I did white potatoes, y'all, because I like them better than the red. Red will have, would have gave them giving them a color as well, but who cares? I got some beef sausages, and uh, of course, you know, this gravy, you know, the flavor, uh, it took me, I told y'all before, seven years to perfect the flavor. So y'all, without ado, I should have got a spoon for this juice, huh? I'll be back. So y'all, we we got this spoon. So I I I, I love to sit with y'all and eat with y'all. Y'all, there's so much going on right now. Oh my goodness. Um, the the quiet before the storm is the election, y'all. If you have a right to vote, please get off your sofa and go vote. It's so imperative, y'all, right now. Yeah, it's just so many ugly things that's happening. I was looking at a video that someone posted. I actually shared it on my Facebook page. Uh, uh, about uh, Trumpsters, uh, people wanting to go down uh, to Hood in San Antonio. Well, them, them, them black boys said, hell no. You're not going to disrespect us. You're not coming in our neighborhood and disrespect us. And it doesn't matter who the group is, but you can't just disrespect people that you don't like. You know, step back, partner. I was so glad to see that. 
You just can't disrespect people because who, who you like. Shit. Back up. Y'all. You know, that's why I don't watch the news. I don't. I do not watch the news. Give me the weather. That's what I want to hear. The weather. Because news people are more gossipers than anything today. And everything is bad on the news now. And it will depress you. I don't have time for that. But I can't see the Trump stuff. Because the people that didn't like us, all those people who hate us and hated us for all of our lives, way back on our ancestors, they trying to uh, come back. And you know, I'll tell y'all again, I believe way back in Africa, we were good, we were strong, we were warriors, we were kings and queens. Y'all heard me preach about this before. But the fact of the matter is, y'all, you know, open up our history book. Ask your mama and them, ask your grandmother and them, ask your great-great-grandmother if, if they still alive. They ambushed us at night because we were bigger, better, stronger, mightier, okay? That's why they had to ambush us when we were asleep because if we woke, we going to whoop their ass. And, and now they see that and they still trying stupid shit. I'm sorry, y'all, but that pisses me off. We're not out there doing anything to, to, to y'all group of people. Here it is, y'all, that division. It ain't gonna never go away. But some people born and bred to, to hate. Y'all, that, that pisses me off. Y'all want some? Just saying. This is really good, too, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, let me break that piece off. Y'all want some of this uh, turkey neck? There you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. So I'm going to say it again. Go vote. Go vote. I'll say this, though. We've never had a president like like this a current president. Oh. It's overwhelming, really. Tomorrow's the day, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's just called goodness. That's a goodness dance, y'all. This is freaking delicious. Where will y'all be tomorrow looking at them numbers? Because I believe if the Democrat Party win, he, he, it's going to be hard to get them out of that, out of that White House. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's going to be some crazy stuff. Oh, that's hot. Y'all this weekend, well, yesterday, on Sunday, I um, went to Nick and Dave's house, you know. They buried their cousin and they still struggling with the loss. But we was just sitting, talking, dancing. Yeah, and if y'all seen my video, my pictures on Facebook or Instagram, y'all know we had a good time. It was only seven of us, you know? And a baby. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. 
the sucking is real. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Damn, that's good. Mm. Y'all, y'all hear me grunting back here? That's good. Y'all, did I tell y'all? I don't leave no meat on these bones, honey. Mm, damn. Did I tell y'all that I went to the meat market and the store? Well, I went to the store first and then the meat market because y'all know I want to do the turkey wings uh, and not the turkey. Y'all know, know I was between turkey wings and Cornish hands, so the, the 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 wings that was like small to medium at the grocery store was almost four dollars for one. Oh, excuse me, y'all. But at the meat market, they were bigger than my damn head and more, and they was like very expensive. I'm thinking like, oh lord. And then I looked at Sam's for some wings. And Sam don't have the wings at the moment. Uh, but they got a pack of six Cornish hens for twelve out right at thirteen dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going with the Cornish hens. I'm I'm done. Mm, that's so good. Still hot. Mm. Which potato do y'all like the best, the red or the gold? These are so creamier to me. Y'all, you know, when I look uh, at some of my friends who found new love, I just, I guess it's just the season. It's so beautiful. Love is so beautiful. Hmm. I want some juice that one. Love is beautiful. If you have it, keep it. Mmm. 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 And of course, y'all, you know, we got that um, fresh corn. And y'all know I like to cut it small like this because it's easy to eat. Even in your balls. Uh, mm, damn, that season is good now. It's seafood balls that are. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Y'all don't even understand that intense flavor. Oh. Damn, that's good. You taste lemon right in the back of your throat. Mm. Mm. Whew. I can't wait till some of you try this. Because you're going to try it one day. Dang, we run out of time already. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I have never made a pecan pie, right? But right now, Mama don't want um, in, anybody at her house. And I understand. I, don't, I just don't believe families are going to be coming together on, on, on these holidays. And it's okay with me. So I said, well, I'm going to need to have a pecan pie, though. So I, I've, I've never made a pecan pie, y'all. I know how to make blueberry banana pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, know how to, I know how to make a badass uh, sweet potato pie. 
but I've never made a bacon ham pie. But so I pulled up a recipe yesterday. <laughs> I'ma try one. I'm gonna try to make one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm definitely going to try to make a pecan pie, y'all. Because <laughs> I looked at one in Sam's. It's huge. I would never eat that pie. It ain't like I'm going to have a house full of people. And I want a house full of people, though. Mm-hmm. You know, because if, if I want to say this, we have been hard-headed from the beginning of this COVID thing. But out here in Texas, everybody still want to go party. They still want to do them trail rides, you know? And they're doing them. And they keep doing it. Parties, parties every weekend, y'all. When I say every weekend, even some of these bars, I don't know if they should be open, but they got a lot of Zydeco bands scheduled for this month and last month. I'm not going in them crowds. I am not going to do it. It's too dangerous, y'all. Still right now because the numbers are going up again. Mm. Mm. Damn. Y'all don't understand when you taste it. When you really taste it. Not virtually. <laughs> that is, y'all. It just goes out so doggone fast. Hmm. Let's 16 minutes go real fast. Whew. But I'm getting full. So I'll, I'll get through eating this one. I'll just probably just add some rice, uh, some more rice with this tomorrow for lunch. Well, look here, y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming back and keep coming back. Thank you for sticking and staying with this hood girl. I love you guys and I thank you. So, y'all ready to sing yourself out? Let's do it. <clears throat> it's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this Monday evening, oh, excuse me, y'all. Do it good. Do it with purpose, people. And do it with genuine love. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. <laughs>